It is truly unbelievable the lengths to which the games industry will go to in a piss poor attempt to try to convince us that loot boxes aren't gambling before presenting us blatant gambling. So this latest story comes from 2K, a notorious company when it comes to shady monetization practices, and they recently released a new trailer for NBA 2K20's My Team Mode. And what you're about to see highlights everything wrong with AAA games, with loot boxes, with surprise mechanics. So let's just dive right into it and I'll comment as I go. Now, keep this in mind right here. This is a game meant for three-year-olds and above, okay? So keep that in mind as you watch this nonsense. There they are, the uh, the card packs. It gets worse. It uh, it gets much worse. So with the sound effects and the visual effects, kind of like how slot machines do it, it's all there. Look at this shit, oh my god. And of course there's the reactions right there and the guy succeeding in his gambling endeavor because that's the fantasy version of gambling, right? This is the, what I'd call the pornographication of gambling. This is the ideal world of gambling where you win big all the time. But obviously that's not how gambling works. The reality of gambling is that you're gonna spend all the money that you have before you get everything you really ever want. Because gambling is never meant to be on your side. Otherwise, casinos would run out of money. And in the case of video games, the publishers decide how to tweak the odds exactly to their favor. Casinos are actually more regulated than video games are right now. And I'll get more into that later, but yeah, the reactions, the, the joy, the, uh, the advertisement of this is what your life will be like if you purchase our products, if you engage in this gambling, you'll be a happy person. It's what every commercial does. Not gonna look, not gonna look. Oh my god. Literal! A literal freaking slot machine. Are, are they honestly going to still tell us that loot boxes aren't gambling? This is in a game for three-year-olds and up. The, the reaction of people who are paid, by the way, to do this, right? That's another big differentiator. The average Joe does not get paid to open loot boxes. They're spending their money. Whereas content creators or people who are brought in for these commercials, they're paid to open these loot boxes and promote a sense of, of excitement, of being able to achieve getting the rarest item, the rarest player, whatever it is. This fucking roulette. I mean, a prize wheel, as they call it, and look at the frickin' guy right there. With that gleeful look. Two K doesn't give a shit anymore. They don't care. They they they're just laying it all out in the open. They're saying, yeah, this is gambling. We're not gonna call it gambling but it's totally gambling. I mean, come on. This is an ad for a casino, ladies and gentlemen. That's what this is. It's a virtual casino. You can spend real money on all of these things. And I'll remind you again, this is really important that this game is being advertised as family friendly. So let's take a look at the reaction so far. 76 
down uh, upvotes versus 1.9 thousand downvotes. The comments speak for themselves. Amazing how their My Team trailer literally is just promoting gambling and using creators to make you think you can also have good luck. Sad. 2K. Is this an ad for a casino or a basketball game? Why did you add basketball in my casino? That's literally what this is. It's a casino with a side of basketball. Now, here's the trailer for the US version. E for everyone. This virtual casino is E for everyone. And let me show you something. According to the ESRB, the organization that's supposed to regulate this kind of stuff, even simulated gambling right here. Simulated gambling warrants a teen rating. Real gambling warrants right here, gambling with real currency, an adults only rating. The way they circumnavigate all of this? By saying that loot boxes aren't gambling. They drop down this legalese on us to try to circumvent their own policies. And yet, we look at this trailer and we can see everything from slot machines, roulette, you frickin' name it, it's all here, it's a casino. It's a frickin' casino. And the games industry is gonna have the audacity to stand there and say that loot boxes are like Kinder Eggs, that they're surprise mechanics, that they're not gambling, that they're ethical. So let me show you something here, something called slot machine payback statistics. This is for real, real gambling, the physical gambling, the casinos, the actual casinos. They require that players get a certain amount in return, a certain percentage in return. The odds cannot be too completely stacked against players. That's a regulation. Video games have no such regulation. Game companies can set whatever odds they want, promote that the odds are not quite as bad as they seem, and then just kind of tweak them however they wish. If they don't want players to earn a certain item at a certain rate, if they're earning things too fast, they can modify that on a whim like that. And I'll remind you that during the recent FTC workshop, the loot box workshop, it was revealed that game companies do indeed pay creators to promote misleading odds for loot boxes. They'll tweak the odds of loot boxes for the content creator so that they'll get the rare item in their video to give this false sense of, oh, Wow, the odds really aren't that bad. I can do that too. If I just spin the dice enough times, if I spin the slot machines enough times, I'll get this rare player. I'll get LeBron James. I'll get David Beckham, whatever it is. Now, this isn't the first time we have seen NBA 2K engage in shady monetization tactics. Recall that not too long ago, people began to notice that unskippable ads were making their way to their game. And what this meant was that even though the game finished loading, it would force you to watch the ad however long it is, 30 seconds, one minute, before you can get into a match. So it would slow everything down to a halt. And this is a $60 game, not a free-to-play title. And yet, they decided that on top of all the other monetization already in place, they would add these freaking ads. And people were pretty pissed off. This post alone from two months ago, 14,000 upvotes, 98% approval from the NBA 2K community. Next up, we have shenanigans from NBA 2K18 with their virtual currency garnering a whole bunch of backlash due to how it was implemented in conjunction with various nefarious design elements. So recall that in that game, players were not able to preview haircuts that they wanted to purchase, and then if they purchased a haircut, if they wanted to go back to a previous haircut, they had to buy it again. Because you aren't unlocking these haircuts, you're just moving from one to the other, and you have to buy every haircut over and over again whenever you want to change. And because you aren't allowed to preview, maybe you'll select a haircut, you don't like it and want to go back to the old one, but guess what? You have to pay again. 
Then there is NBA 2K18 removes the bonus VC for higher difficulty modifier, and NBA 2K18 app gives less VC than it used to. So just all around, the game handed less currency to players for playing the game so that they would have to buy the currency instead. Number four, it takes a lifetime if you're just playing, not paying. One of the popular arguments for loot boxes and microtransactions is that they're optional. Yeah, except that if you don't pay up, it's going to take you an eternity to get the things you want. That's the caveat. If you don't pay up, you're going to be grinding to hell and back. Unless you make this game your job, essentially, working hours upon hours every day, you're just not going to get the items you desire in a realistic time frame. That's just not going to happen for the average Joe, for the average player. Hardcore people who have all the time in the world to put as much time into the game might be able to circumvent this. They might be able to get away with not paying because they have so much time on their hands. But for the average person, they're purposely inconvenienced with a grind wall that they have to pay in order to bypass. This is NBA 2K showing its true colors. And they continue to push their greed through literal gambling, through literal casino. And so NBA 2K isn't the only case of stuff like this happening. FIFA is obviously a major franchise. I'd say the biggest sports franchise in the world, given that I believe soccer or football is the most popular sport in the world. And FIFA rakes it in like there's no tomorrow, through their loot boxes, and that results in situations like this, where kids empty out their parents' bank accounts because they didn't know any better. If you scroll down here, Mr. Carter said his children, who are all under the age of 10, felt very remorseful and had not understood the impact of what they were doing. They spent 550 pounds and they still never got their favorite player, Lionel Messi. So I'll uh, remind you again that this is the fantasy. Yes, 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 that's the fantasy. You got Lionel Messi. You will get Lionel Messi. That's the that's what they're advertising, right? This dumbass reaction. But the grim reality is this. You're going to spend all this money to try to get your favorite player Lionel Messi. You're just not going to get him, buddy. Because there is a 1 in a 1,000 or 1 in 10,000, 1 in a million, who knows? All EA has detailed about this game is less than 1% chance of getting the rarest players. So who really knows what the odds are? But regardless, you can spend 550 pounds, gamble away, and still not get what you want. And I'll remind you that FIFA is also a game that's rated Peggy 3, a game for children, which is why parents buy FIFA for their kids who might be soccer fans. So kids are exposed to gambling, and given that children in particular aren't mentally fully developed, this could become a major problem down the line. But game companies don't give a damn because this makes them money. And then we have this story by the BBC, where a dozen parents or so recounted their children just spending on mass. And we got games like Hidden Artifacts, which are supposed to be sort of educational, and yet they're infested with microtransactions. Here is NBA, EA's NBA, this one. My 16-year-old son spent nearly 2,000 pounds Of my money on EA's NBA basketball game, there are myriad stories like this. Clash of Clans, this golf game, Fortnite. The games industry is not doing its job of releasing products responsibly. And now they're going out of their way to just not give a damn about how irresponsible they're really being. Peggy 3... Roulette that you can spend money on to get rewards that actually have no value because every year there is a new one of these games and with every new entry, all the old stuff goes to waste. You start as a clean slate with NBA 2K20 and then with NBA 2K21. That's why they release these games every year 
to wipe the slate clean every year so players have to respend all their money in order to regain their rewards. So yeah, I mean, what else is there to say here? And keep in mind, the loot boxes are just one form of monetization. There's bound to be other stuff that we have seen in the past that will also be implemented in this game. They're pulling all the stops here, and this is all amidst government regulation encroaching. I don't know what the hell they're thinking. Maybe this is their last hurrah, knowing that loot boxes will ultimately be regulated. I don't know. Maybe they're cashing in as much as they can right now before loot boxes go away. I'm not sure. But this trailer speaks for itself, doesn't it? Crap like this. The fake reactions. The fantasization, fetishization of gambling for a game that's meant to be played by children. So there you have it, folks. That's all I really have to say about this trailer. This commercial for a casino that children can access. And adults who have gambling compulsion. This is what the games industry is trying to become. This is what's trying to be normalized. And this is what they expect to get away with. I'd love to hear what your take is on all of this in the comments below. With that, I would like to end this news update and discussion video. Thank you for tuning in. To be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.